action. Okay, I'm going to explain how to uh, do a ankle tape for inversion protection or lateral ankle joint protection. Uh, most injuries to the ankle occur on the outside or lateral side. So the way most ankle injuries happen is a combination of two motions. One is inversion where the ankle tilts outward and it's also a combination of plantar flexion where the foot goes downward. So that combination motion often sprains or injures the ligaments to the lateral or outside. Particularly, most commonly, this ligament right here, it's called the anterior towards the front, talofibular ligament, connecting the talus bone to the fibula in the front. Another uh, ligament that might be injured with that is the calcaneofibular ligament going from the heel bone or calcaneus to the fibula. And a really, really bad sprain uh, might involve the posterior talofibular ligament that goes from the talus bone to the fibula in the back or the posterior side. But most commonly, an athlete will have tenderness anteriorly in front and sometimes on the lateral side as a result of excessive inversion and plantar flexion. So what we do with tape Primarily, we want to tape in a neutral position or 90 degree angle and try to support the lateral side to prevent primarily inversion. It's very hard to control both motions. So that's what we'll be doing with the tape today. I'll take you through step by step and, uh, and then hopefully you'll be able to practice using the video as a guide. Okay, so we start out, we have the athlete with the foot at 90 degrees, the joint at 90 degrees. Uh, many athletes will ask to shave, actually, shave the leg, and we start the tape right below where this muscle, the gastrocnemius, comes down and gets, gets big, uh, so just inferior to that. So we either have the athlete shave from here down, or we apply pre-wrap, which I'll show you. So in that 90 degree angle, we use these heel and lace pads uh, to protect the tendons from getting pinched or blistered. Here's our pre-wrap. The best way to apply this is to go right on the pad, right directly over the calcaneus or heel bone. And then we go like a figure eight pattern to hold on the pads one or two times. This is called a heel lock, that's not essential. But then we work our way up. We only need a slight overlap. So that's the application of the under wrap or the pre wrap. And again, we keep the foot at 90 degrees. We don't need pre wrap if the athlete shaves. If the athlete shaves, it's a much better support because the pre-wrap won't slip. But not many athletes are into shaving, so we don't demand it. Our first step is called uh, high anchors. So what we do is we apply, because the, the leg is conical shaped, we can't put them straight, so we angle them. So we angle them slightly downward for our, for our top anchors, and we apply two with slight overlap. Then we apply a low anchor and we try to go right down the arch. We don't want to go too far up or too distally on the metatarsals because that will pinch those. So our low anchor goes down the arch, comes around the outside, and that's our low anchor. Uh, it also might help to put a low horseshoe anchor this way. And that's more of a landmark than anything else. But really the essential elements of an ankle tape are things called stirrups and heel locks. So our first stirrup, we're going to apply three total. Our first one, and we always start in the medial or inside because we want to support the lateral or outside. So our first one, we want to go behind the tibia, the end of the tibia, that's called the medial malleolus. We want to go posterior or behind that. So we put the tape down, we pull snugly, and we want to go as far back or posterior as we can. We pull it around the lateral side, we rip the tape just short of the top, again pulling good tension, and now on the outside, it's, or lateral side, it's going to go again posterior to that end of the fibula this time, or lateral malleolus. After we do that, we want to anchor. If, he's got, if he doesn't have a lot of space, or she doesn't have a lot of space, a shorter leg, we can just put one anchor. And again, a little bit of an angle. If we have a longer leg, we can do a low anchor and a high anchor as we fill that space. Okay, so that's our first stirrup, medial to lateral. Okay, our second stirrup 
it's going to be a little bit more anterior. Notice slight overlap. And this one should pretty much go over that medial malleolus or distal end of the tibia. Come around the outside and again we pull that snug and lay it down a little bit more anterior or towards the front kind of right over the fibula bone or lateral malleolus. And then again we anchor. Okay, so that's our second stirrup. Our third stirrup is again going to come a little bit more anterior and notice the overlap pattern. Okay, and we pull the tension. And there is our third stirrup. Notice the slight overlap of each one. Really important point. Don't go too far anteriorly with this strip. If we get down here on this fifth metatarsal base, it's going to pinch and hurt. So we want to avoid that. So all three should be behind the base of that fifth metatarsal. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Okay, if we have any remaining space, we could do another horseshoe anchor at the bottom to fill that in. Okay, now we're ready to start the uh, heel locks. So those, are, those are our three stirrups. Heel locks should be crossing in front in an X pattern. So there's going to be a, you know, there's your X pattern. Very, very important to start at that perfect angle. When we start this way, we're getting ready to heel lock on the outside. Okay, so we come around. There is our start position for the heel lock. We come around and we are going, that's the angle we're looking for right there. Okay, I always like to go up with heel lock. Some people come down. I like to go up. I always want to support upward. And as the tape comes around, you'll notice if we put a perfect one down, we're going to get a parallel finish. So that's a heel lock on the medial side. Come around here. To do a lateral, the other side heel lock, again, there you see our X pattern right here. We come around and there's the angle we're looking for right there on our outside heel lock and if we do it correctly we're finishing parallel. So all we do for a very very simple tape job is we repeat that process another heel lock on each side again notice the parallel finish okay and then one on the outside so two on each side parallel finish and now we are done. So we would just anchor all the way up. Some people add an element, and this is not mandatory for level one taping. This is called a figure eight. You start a little more distally on the foot, come down the arch, around the outside, cross the front of the joint, go posteriorly behind, that is a figure eight. And some people will go right into heel locks from there. So that goes around and we call these low heel locks because they go a little bit lower than the other one comes around and now we can do a low heel lock so that's a continuous heel lock that's not mandatory for level one so that's an extra thing figure eight and low heel locks now what we want to do with all tape jobs though is finish it with anchors all the way up now notice the shape goes this way when we are at the bottom so we need to angle the opposite way coming up so at the top we're this angle, at the bottom we're this angle. So we work our way up. As we get less conical, we can go straight across. And then as it flares up this way, again, we angle a little bit. So there's a finished tape job. And what I look for is no windows or holes. I want to see three stirrups, slight overlap. I want to see good angles of your heel locks on both sides. And again, no windows. We want to see three good stirrups, good angles of your heel locks. We don't want tight tape around the base of that fifth metatarsal. Very minimal wrinkles, ankle all the, uh, anchor all the way up, and no flaps hanging from our stirrups. And that would be a, uh, a check mark on your level one ankle tape competency.